happens in a district our size when we have six elementary buildings, that's a lot to maintain and maintaining of those buildings becomes very expensive. In the current economic environment and with the state um, funding that we've been receiving, it's very hard and challenging. And if you look around most of the state of Iowa, what do you hear all the time? Consolidation, consolidation, consolidation. And we as a district have to step back and say, how best can we use the money that we've been given to, to take care of our kids and the education that we need to provide our, them? Our, the buildings are older um, and teaching has changed so much in the last 10 years. We have to have um, the ability to reach our students in a different way and the, the building structure, you don't want that to be in the way. You want to be able to teach kids uh, with the, with new technology and with new means that uh, hopefully isn't hampered by your, your current setting. That we have grown um, slowly but steadily uh, in the time that I've been principal here. Um, I remember a time where we were short of 900 students and now we're in the 960 to 970 range and that means that we even have needs here, even with a remodeled building, not only with the, uh, the amount of space that we have, but also with the staffing that is necessary to really meet the needs of our kids and to not have class sizes increase to a level that is not uh, good for kids and their learning. The 2018 referendum is about um, equity, it's about um, accountability to our citizens, and it's about giving opportunities to all of our students, K through 12. It's not just an elementary issue, uh, it's all about all of our kids and the opportunities we can give them. But it's not about necessarily what's fair, but every kid deserves to have the same school experience, the same school environment. Um, we've had, I, I talk about Jensen, but at, at Jensen, and maybe people have touched upon this already, but when we have to put tarps on the books because of the rain and when you have on a yearly basis a classroom that has to move to another room just to make the repairs that is not what's best for the kids uh, do your civic duty and vote on february 6th